I'm Peter Penoyer, and uh, my firm is called Peter Penoyer Architects. There really hasn't been a time I can remember when I wasn't interested in architecture. I grew up in New York, and our next door neighbor was an architect at Skidmore Owings and Merrill. I found him very interesting. My father was on the Art Commission when I was a child, which is a very obscure agency that looks at every building project in the whole city on public land. So he would often bring home the drawings and I would look at his projects. And um, it's, it all seemed something I was interested in. I was uh, at Columbia College in Bob Stern's studio and I started working with him as an intern, uh, working on exhibit design. Um, I was at the right place at the right time and allowed to do real architecture projects very early on. Because I was working for Bob Stern, um, I was asked by a friend um, in graduate school to help with uh, design Isabella Rossellini's first loft. And that was pure luck. We worked for Keith Haring, we designed his pop shop and his studios on Broadway. You know, we ended up working for the Warhol factory and we had an incredible range of clients who were all setting uh, different challenges for us, but it was incredible education. Um, some of the more interesting projects uh, we're working on now are um, a townhouse that uh, was originally designed by Grosvenor Atterbury. We've also recently completed a house for uh, a woman who has a collection of 19th century American paintings and antiques, um, and it has uh, very elaborate vaulted ceilings and uh, I'd say beautiful plaster decoration. It, it was a really great opportunity. And there was a townhouse on the Upper East Side where the curved stair was made robotically from digital information by the same company that makes the curved steel for Frank Gehry's buildings. So it's a Beaux-Arts traditional looking stair that is made using cutting edge technology. One reason we have such a great team in our creative process is that we start with research, which means at some level we pretend we know nothing. That is about the client and the program and their needs. So it's really about uh, learning from the ground up. We have to be very um, sensitive about the neighborhood and the environment, and we're very successful at shaping our projects to be uh, positive contributions to where they're built. You really have to think about your neighbors. We just completed our first LEED Gold building. We find that this was something we thought about uh, for our whole practice together in this office because we always believed that a lot of traditional architecture was actually a response to the environment as much as it was um, stylistically driven. So, you know, we always thought that a house in South Carolina had porches all around and was raised up on a half story for environmental reasons, not because people thought they were pretty. We think that good design and uh, tailoring space, controlling volume, is a significant environmental advantage um, to wide open modernist spaces with big glass walls. What separates this firm from others is that we draw, um, and we draw with pencils, and we sketch, and um, in a way it's a luxury for us. It allows us to have a creative process that's uh, very fluid and, and open and personal. I, I love drawing, and I think it's my advice to anyone who's interested in architecture is to start drawing as early and as frequently as you can, um, because it trains your mind to see the architecture better than you can if you just look at it. Uh, the physical connection between the paper and the brain and the whole uh, physical act of designing really, in, in my case, can't be translated well to a series of digital commands. There is an artist here named Anklon Weekin, who's an architect also, who does beautiful watercolors. And by painting the building, he brings it alive and into kind of materiality, which is much more sensual and real than a computer can ever, ever achieve. Redefining luxury is about better quality and resonance more than it is quantity. It is a, I say, more humble, less showy idea of luxury uh, than we all remember from uh, 10 years ago. It's more about making something that is both beautiful, well-made, but also um, resonates to create um, a sense of, uh, of memory, a sense of history, a sense of narrative, and have more to do with craft 
than simply looking for, for size and you know, splashy statements. Architecture is important if it can excite uh, someone who's stuck behind the wheel of a cab all day as much as it does a critic uh, at architectural record. That's my kind of architecture.